Good morning, guys. It's 7.30. I'm going to ride at 7.30. Hello. Hi. Good morning. You got your horse? You gotta get your horse. I just got in here. They ate the dead body of the mouse. They, you didn't clean up the dead body of the mouse? I don't think so. So there was a mouse massacre, massacre last night. We don't want to talk about it. Here's a sweater. So they ate it. Don't let them kiss you if they're eating. I didn't. That was Molly. No. Molly ate the mouse? No, she kissed me. Oh. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, we have lessons with Brandon, and he's not going to be happy because the girls are not going to be ready. So for snacks today, I bought Brandon some Skittles. Brandon is a candy boy, and he likes his candy. Hopefully, he likes himself some Skittles. Sam got up really extra early this morning, came down, and fed the horses so that they'd be ready and raring to go. All right, go get your horses. Like, I'm not even joking. Oh, you're putting uh, in the sweater? I can hear my kitten purring. Great. I, oh, I can hear him from here, too. Wow, that's insane. Like, that's how much our kittens purr. They're so loud. He's in the skits. No. Listen. All I hear are crickets. Why Quick purring? update on my hearing. So I've been taking the antihistamines, like the allergy medication. I've been taking it. So they basically said, take this much, but I took less than that and not a lot happened, just like a little bit. So finally yesterday I started taking like the full dose and about six times yesterday, this ear popped open and their air went through there. So it is working. I just have to keep persevering, but my hearing is definitely getting better. I have to take the full dose four times a day, like to get it there, but we're getting there. Hello, kitty cat. Go catch your horse. Go. Oh, well, let's get it out of here. That's disgusting. Poor little baby mouse. Got squished. Oh, she's like, I know there's mice behind here. They hide inside the bales. Yeah, so we have mice now. Anyway, our cats are on high alert watching for mice. The horses were way down there. The girls decided to get a bucket with treats to get the horses to come to them. We walked outside and they're like, hey, I'm here, come and get me. It's not cold. What's the temperature? 60 degrees. Look at Chino's walking away. He's like, I'm not ready. Like your horses tell you, they know. Isn't that crazy? Never ever seen him do that before. Uh oh, and now goes storm too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Better get the bucket! <laughs> yeah, Chino knew! He's like, I'm not doing it. Oh gosh. Molly! Oh, there goes Chino. Come on guys, we don't have to listen to them. We can do whatever we want. Let's go! See, Sophie's calling Finn. He always looks. He's like, I can't, I can't leave my buddies, guys. I want to come to you, Sophie, but I can't. They're, they're spicy because it's morning. Oh, look at them looking at her. Funny horses. Like, who'd have ever thought? All right, this is the best I can do. Let's see, it's the best I can do. Oh, you got it. Better take the halter too. One pink sock and one blue and pink sock. All right, let's see what food does. <laughs> oh dear, they didn't want to play today. Oh, Finny wants to come. Oh, here comes Stormy Boy. Or is that Chino? storm. They're talking about it. They're thinking about it. Here comes Chino for the win. <laughs> Chino's like, I'm going. 
There's Finny! <laughs> it worked! They all want treats. Put the rope around their neck, quick! I don't know. Aw, oh, there we go. Still haven't got his other shoe put on because the ferry hasn't contacted me back. And Gabby and I are kind of like letting it just go because we're wondering if it's the shoe that's causing the problem. Like, did I say that in yesterday's video? I don't think I did. But we're wondering if like putting the shoes on his bruised foot is making him have like the issue. So we're just kind of playing it by ear and waiting for the ferry. We're letting God take charge. Sometimes I say, Sometimes I just put my hands up and say, God, you go, you do it. You take care of it and I'll just let you lead me. So we contacted the farrier and now it's out of our hands. So we have to just wait and let God and the farrier decide. Have you ever noticed how like, no matter what you do, and be like, sometimes things happen the way they just happen, no matter what you try and how you try and orchestrate it. And then that turns out being the best thing. So many great comments in yesterday's video or in today's video, yesterday for you guys about Willow. A lot of people saying that they would have pulled her food when they noticed that she wasn't eating as fast. Oh, you got a friend. Um, true, I would have pulled her food if I was down here because that's what you do with colic. But the thing is that chances of it being colic are really low. She has a history of ulcer flares and so that is much more common and much more consistent with how she was acting and you guys saw in the video what i saw was nothing i saw no signs of even an ulcer flare like she was acting completely normal happy healthy we stayed down in the barn sam and sophie stayed in the barn for an hour when i came down we stayed for another 30 minutes we watched her she seemed great we came back down two hours later double checked made sure she was okay we stayed for an hour that time just because we don't vlog the whole thing i mean that would be a boring vlog and our vlogs are less than an hour long so we can't put everything in. You can't phone the vet for every time you think your horse might be sick. Like you have to have some actual proof. Like she actually has to do something to make you think that she's sick. And we already know that she has, she's prone to ulcers. And so we treated her exactly the way we should have treated her for ulcers. Colic, definitely we would have held her food, but we did check on her all the time. We made sure that she was good before we went to bed. And then we got up early and came down and checked on her. And then I checked on her a million times yesterday. I poop picked this little field every single day. And I even mentioned in the video that I kept track of her poop yesterday. So yeah, thank you guys so much for all your concern. I knew she was going to be okay. I didn't see any of the things that Sam and Sophie saw. I guess, I think she was picking up her feet, but there were flies when I was here. And the only real thing, I guess, the only real thing that she was doing was that she ate slow. She ate her, her grain slow. So I think, and they said she was stretching a lot, which I did see a tiny bit of. But anyways... She's okay. That was a couple days ago already. The time you see this, that will have been three days ago, and she's clearly okay. Lived to tell, tell the tale. Lived to see another day. That's one of the things I love about being on a little farm like this, is that you get the opportunity to be with your horses and spend time with them and, and watch everything that happens and come down at all hours of the night to check on a horse. And... The other thing that I love is that we notice, like, even my kids and my husband, we notice every little tiny change. And sometimes that it's a good thing and sometimes that's a bad thing because if a horse like looks the wrong way we're like wait are they okay and so the only thing you can do when you notice little teeny tiny things like what we noticed is to watch and wait and that is exactly what we did and everything turned out great you can rest assured that if there really truly was a bad problem i would have phoned the vet speaking of which i just got the whole area poop scooped and she just stood there and pooped right in front of me as if to say, see, I'm normal. All right, so uh, that was lessons. Brandon actually has to go to work now. And I can hear, I can like, one of my ears is getting really good and the other one is just starting. The other one's doing the same thing that this one was doing when it started to open up. Like it's not perfect, but it's not terrible. Can hear like a normal woman. 
So Gabby learned a lot about the clinic because he's done those clinics before and he was able to like tell her all the things that the um, lady is going to be doing and yeah, asking. Give a heads up to Kaylee. Yeah, so you'll have to give a heads up to Kaylee. So also I'm excited for you guys to see Sophie's lesson. It was like huge. There was like a lot of issues but at the same time she persevered and she got past them. Finn is still sore so we got to cold hose him. Sophie you got to cold hose your horse. We got to get your fly mask on. Stand him in the pool. So the boys and girls are hanging out. Brandon thinks we should separate Storm all the time. I, I kind of agree. I don't mind it. Like I feel bad for him but he spent a lot of years on his own because he used to have four shoes on. I know. Where are we going? Gina's like, let me go too. Aww. Good boy, Stormy boy. He did really good though, Sophie. Yeah, he still babysits Sophie a little. But it's not even babysitting. You know what it is? It's like, oh, she doesn't know how to ride me, so I'm just going to do what I want. You have to. I know how to ride Finn. I know, but you need to learn to ride Storm. Okay, show me how I do it. Okay, this gets. Kiss. Hi, I'm Kiss. No, kiss. Okay. He already did it. Aw, I love when they do it. If you can do that, you can do anything. <laughs> you get a taste of it? I didn't even teach him. One day I was just like, I'm going to teach you how to kiss. Kiss, and he was like, okay. Here. Okay. Tap his lip with that, and then kiss and put the... You might want to stand closer. Ew! Good disgusting! Boy. Good boy! Ugh! I swear I got snot and sweat on my lips. Now go! Yeah. Do it to Willow. You don't need treats. Oh, I know. Willow's a kissy girl. So, Sophie's been meeting a lot of girls online, and she has, there's one girl, her name is Peyton, and she's been playing with her since December. Like, it's been a long time. That girl feels like a part of her family, like Kaylee. Like, I love that kid so much, but she lives far. So, we're not able to meet her yet, but we are going to meet her one day. Okay. But she's been playing with another girl, and her name... Is Elizabeth. Is Elizabeth, and they all ride horses, and Elizabeth lives like 45 minutes away. Like 38 minutes? 38 minutes away. These girls have figured out all the stuff. Like, they know how long it would take to get to each other's houses. That's all we talk about. That's all, yeah. They all like, <laughs> could you spider web. Misha all they talk about is when they could get together, and so Wait, today it might be the here. day. Let's go in here. Sophie might get to meet a friend. And we'll have sleepover. No, no sleepovers today. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Aww. Kiss her. All right, let me kiss you. Try me. It's over here. Oh, nice girl. She's got a nice, nice clean mouth. You don't She's even a girl. need treats. She's just. But she should get a treat now for doing it. Gracie doesn't kiss mom. Come on, Gracie, kiss me. Now try Willow. Yeah, I'll get you some treats. Another dead mouse. I literally was not expecting our kittens to be this good at their job this soon. Cold hosing Finn is a whole different story than cold hosing our other horses. Get those bugs off you. You need your fly mask. This boy doesn't keep fly masks on. Good boy. Oh, good boy. He's like a lot more finicky this boy. We're sitting outside a restaurant on a busy road and look what we see. Just sitting there having free lunch doing its own thing. Cars, cars everywhere. No, no. Just sitting there having lunch. Totally relaxed. Isn't that so funny? Okay so we are here. We are at the restaurant. We're just waiting for them. 
um, they're gonna arrive and so we're gonna get to meet one of you guys. Somebody that she's been playing with for a while, somebody that she feels close to, that she talks with. All right, so there they are. They're already gone. We're social distancing. <laughs> We're social distancing. And Gabby, so we met Elizabeth for the first time. So Elizabeth, how old is Elizabeth? Is she 13 or oh, 11? She'll, she'll be 12 in November. She'll be 12 in November, and Sophie will be 11 in October. So they're a year apart. Okay, Sophie, introduce us to Elizabeth. Okay, so this is Elizabeth and she's my best friend. She's one of your best friends. Yes. Sophie has a dress. Sophie had a dress last year, really similar to that. Super cute. It was navy and white. Oh, that one is navy and white. We're kind of matching. We have a white They both wear dresses. That's so cool. Gabby's never wore a dress since she turned five. What is this thing called again? I forget. Do you remember what it's called? They used to have these when my boys were little. No clue. Uh, are what are they called? Sophie, you should come to our park. They have a zip line there. <gasps> there's, a, there's a park here with a zip line too. Really? Not in this park, but in this city. Ooh. So Elizabeth is one year older than you. Yes. Yeah. That's super cool. All right, it's time for I us. I don't want to leave. It's time for us to leave, but we love Elizabeth. She's a perfect fit for our little family, right? Yeah. Such a good friend, amazing friend. Thank you. And we can't wait till we meet that. So Peyton, that I keep talking about, is a friend of. They're all three friends together, the three Musketeers. So I can't wait till we can all get together with her too. So, um, is there something that surprises you about Elizabeth in real life? But not leaving. We have to leave. But is there something that's different about her that you didn't know? Is she taller than you thought? No. Is she more? She's exactly the same. She's exactly. Awesome. She's awesome. <laughs> All right, so how is Sophie different than what you thought? She's really, she's even more nice. She's nicer in real life? Yes, and, well, she's nice on the phone, and but she's also nice off the phone. Aw. She seems the same. She's just like really happy and nice. Aw, yay, that's what I feel like about you too. How tall are you, Elizabeth? Five, four. Five, five four, and you're a year nice. older, and you're five, one and a half, five, one? Yeah, like, I don't know how my kids are like, like, I thought they were going to be so tall. But I don't know, maybe she'll be 5'4 when she's your age. Yeah, maybe. All right, well, it was nice to meet you, Elizabeth. I wish we could get a baby bunny. One time, Elizabeth is going to come and she's going to ride Finn. She's going to show us how to ride Finn. And Finn's <laughs> going to say, you are not Sophie and he's going to buck you off. <laughs> hey, that was one time and I asked him to Yeah, I'm just joking. He's better now. <laughs> He's no. safer now, yeah. yeah. Just a bit lame. It's Storm that that will buck <laughs> yeah. you off. There's an ant on me. All right, well, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, so we are headed home. It is so scorching hot outside. We are headed home. We've been away for a while. I don't know about other horse owners, but I always like to start to panic if we've been away for too long because I never know what our horses are going to get it into, what kind of trouble they're going to get into. I always panic. I always worry a little. Same with my kids though. I was worried when they were at home. So we're gonna go home, but before we can go home, I have, we have to get hay. We have to get hay for our horses. We're doing a hay run. Did you love meeting her? Yeah. Finny's mask is off. And Chino be loving the girls. That's where he spends all of his time, trying to get to the girls. Coming home to horses is such a good feeling. Like seeing them all just sitting here, waiting for us. We're bringing lunch. I always try and throw their, their lunch and their supper into as many piles as I can because she you know, always like, give me some hay, I want some lunch. Because a Willow is the more aggressive bossy girl and what? Oh, see, she normally, she pushes Gracie off the, the bigger pile I and mean, when there's only two piles, Willow eats all of one and then she goes to the next one and then Gracie just has to stand there while Willow eats most of the food. Willow doesn't need most of the food. So 
if I make lots of piles, then Chino will be looking and be like, send me some. Kitties are out. Getting used to being outside. They're such good kittens. Oh, he literally wanted me Why to Why is your nose always dirty like that? Or are they just, is that just probably his coloring? Mouse guts. Dirty nose. mouse guts, probably mouse guts. She always has clean nose. Okay, just hold him just like Such this. Such a cute baby. She was actually licking his lips. He's actually like licking his lips watching Willow eat. I thought you'd lick the grass better than the hay. There you go. Have some. Have some, handsome. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so I, when I left this morning, this chicken was sitting here. And she's still sitting here. So now I need to get her out and see what's wrong with her. Did you leave it all today? Is she even moving? Uh-oh. Maybe she's, I think she needs water. I'm gonna have to get her out. This looks like a new egg, a brand new egg from a chicken that's never laid before. Remember I said only four were laying? It's got blood on it and it looks new. And then we got three there. Okay, so. I brought Sophie out and I'm like, Sophie, what, what is that? That's a new one. Poop on it. It's blood. It looks like blood. I brought them, I brought Sophie, I called Sophie and I'm like, get your chicken. We have to take her in and get her some fresh water and, and there's something wrong with her. And then Sophie tried to get her out and she pecked her and Sophie's like, she's broody. She has an egg underneath her. Oh, I see it. She's not gonna let anyone cut her. All right, Sophie, if she's broody, what will we do? Just let her hatch the egg. Oh my gosh, would you let her? Yeah, let her have a kid. She's been there all day, you guys. We've never had a broody hen in our Literally. whole life. All right, well, let's go get her some water, some food with water in it so she, she might be broody. Probably is. She might be broody. In my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, the chicken's dehydrated. Grab their water, we gotta give them fresh water. The chicken's dehydrated. There's, there's something wrong. Like, Sophie, come help me. We need to get the chicken. Bring her in the house and nurse her. And Sophie's like, she's probably broody. I taught that to her. It's super late in the season to have baby chicks, but I've never done it before. I've never had broody chicken before. It's like exciting. It's so exciting. Don't you know that